Hi guys, it's Jen. So a few months ago, this is going to be a vlog, and a few months ago on my beauty channel I mentioned that I would probably be creating a separate channel for like non-beauty videos. Like I get requests for things like, you know, like what's in your bag, tag, and closet tour, things like that, that I thought I would put on a separate channel, like a more like get to know me, more personal channel. So non-beauty channel here that I'm going to create on YouTube. So this will probably be probably be the first video that I put on there. This is just like a vlog. And I'm actually kind of whispering because I'm in the hospital and I just am very emotional and nervous and I have no I have no one to talk to right now. It's early in the morning and I just thought why not do a vlog. So those of you that follow me on Twitter probably know what I'm going to say. Um, my husband is having surgery today and it's pretty serious. It's a it's probably routine if you're a neurosurgeon, but for me it sounds serious. It's like um, he's having a disc fusion done on his back and that's like the Mac Daddy of all back surgeries, I'm guessing. Um, he's had another back surgery that failed. He's had a couple pr back procedures that haven't given him any relief and then he had a microdiscectomy, which is a different um, type of surgery, and that failed. That was a little less than two years ago. So now we're back to get him the disc fusion and what they do because his um, the disc that is degenerative is so low, they actually go through his stomach to get to the disc. So it's like you know, they cut open your stomach and then they move organs out of the way so they can get to the disc. And I don't know, it's just very nerve wracking. And I know he was nervous and it just, I don't know, just praying every five seconds that this surgery goes well and he has a fast recovery. Recovery is about three months with this, like full recovery is like three months. And the first um, two months is almost no activity. So I'm just praying because I want him, he's such an active person that I want his quality of life back. You know, I want him to feel whole and healthy with no pain anymore. So this is something that I've been praying about for a long time and the day is finally here. So I'm so happy, but I'm so nervous because I just want it to go well for him. And um, it's just hard to see, you know, your husband in surgery or anyone you love or care about you know, go through pain and then surgery. So I'm glad the day is here, but I'm just ready for him to come out of surgery. I'm actually in a consultation room. They called me back to do a consultation. Um, so I guess they are closing him up now. Like they're closing the incisions up and I'm waiting for the surgeon to come in. There's actually two surgeons in the room. There's like the surgeon that does, um, like moves everything out of the way, like a vascular surgeon and a neurosurgeon who actually works on his disc. So we had to get up so early. I, that's why I look like crap right now. And this lighting is horrendous. But I, um, oh gosh, I really do look bad. But whatever. I had to, I went to sleep at 1245 because I was so nervous. I could not sleep. And then I woke up at 3.30 to just kind of help him get ready and pack his stuff and get here. And, you know, um, it was crazy because this whole week, we literally had spring summer weather like 70 degree weather and then last night they called for snow and it did snow a little bit and black ice it rained all day long yesterday and then we had black ice on the morning that we like have to be here so i am like so bundled up and um there was like ice all over my car we didn't see any black ice on the road though and so we got here safe but um it was crazy because we were like oh my gosh what is this like trying to work against us here and get us to the hospital on this day like that we've been looking forward to for so long. So um, everything else is great. My family has really stepped in. I'm so thankful for my family because um, like the grandmothers are here, my dad, everybody's helping with the kids and making sure that my household runs smoothly and um, it just really takes a lot of stress off because I'm able to be here and focus on Sean and maybe um, I probably end up staying one night in the hospital here with him because he never really wakes up from his anesthesia good like the last time he had. Um, sorry, I was listening to that. But he always wakes up kind of um, nauseous, I guess. And um, I'm waiting right now also for his uh, one of his brothers to come and sit with me so that he can be here 
when Sean um, wakes up from surgery and not much else was uh, just sitting here worried ready to go back and see him I'm so ready I'm ready for the surgeon to come back and talk to me and give me this update and give me like you know they'll probably like give me all the instructions on how he'll feel when he wakes up and when he can go home I think it's um two or three nights in the hospital depending on how he's moving around so that's it guys thanks for listening and um i'll talk to you guys later bye okay so a quick update the surgeon did come back here and talk to me and he said that everything went great and um sean they're sewing him up and everything went great and um that he i'll probably be able to go back and see him in about an hour because they're like you know, he's like shaking off. Um, they're going to be waking him up and it'll take him a little while to be for me to be able to go back. So now I'm going to go back out to the waiting room and just wait, wait for my husband's brother and wait for my baby to wake up and wait for them to call me. So I'm so happy that the surgery went well. Everybody that emailed me and um, tweeted me prayers and just thinking of you wishes and things like that, like thank you so much. I am true believer on the power of prayer, like, um, and that you guys have no idea how much that means to me, just that, um, you guys took the time to pray for my husband and keep us in your thoughts. Thank you so, so much. So, and what else? Let's see. I'm starving, by the way. I'm starving. I went down to, they have caribou coffee here and, um, I had like a vanilla mocha and I think I'm like on a sugar rush and I'm so hungry because I was nervous and did not eat this morning so maybe while I'm waiting I'll go try to get something to eat but I'm about to walk out to the uh, to the waiting room and see if my husband's brother's here just in case you guys wanted to see my outfit yes I do wear Uggs on my down days <laughs> but I just have like on a big sweater a big chunky sweater and my um like a a jacket, a sweater jacket from Hollister, leggings, and a boots. So, just cold, comfy weather outfit. Mm -hmm.